job bless everybody okay welcome to another episode I'm in this small city called Las Terrenas it's in the Dominican Republic about two and a half hours if you drive or take the bus from the capital city Santo Domingo basically it's on the north east coast it's on a peninsula Samana Providence it's the most diverse untouched province in the Dominican Republic so it has a lot of natural beauties waterfalls supposedly uh, some of the best beach in the Caribbean here so we're gonna go check it out give you a nice 360 view of how things look a couple restaurants attractions how you can see before you visit or if you can't visit now you see how it looks so welcome to my channel the goal is to give you a more authentic naturalist local perspective get your hands dirty a little bit and basically I do a lot of walking so you'll see me walk around and we can see things much up close and personal and at a slower pace so let's go check out Las Tarenas Okay, so this is pretty much the epicenter of, uh, as you can see there, Las Tarenas, Ciudad de Dos. Got a Shell gas station here and your prices in gallons. One US is about currently 58 Dominican pesos. So this is the main strip in the beginning and we're going to take all the way down to the beach. I got here yesterday evening. I took the bus here from Santo Domingo. It took me about two and a half hours and 500 pesos one way that's how it looks give you a nice 360 view foul things a couple restaurants attractions it's my first time here just wanted to include this in this episode so we can see how it looks before you visit you got your mechanics there i do notice a lot of mopeds, motorcycles, ATVs here in this small city. I'm assuming because the terrain, the roads are not that great. Again, it's one of the more untouched providence here in the Dominican Republic. But it's growing. All right, let's take you all the way down on this Avenue de Horte. That's the main road here. Okay, so now we're on Carmen Street, right off the main street, de Horte. So, as you can see, a lot of local vendors. Of motorcycles. I've never seen so many motor bikes in such a small area. So I spend the night here. It gets pretty quiet, like say after midnight, but as you can see, it's pretty busy. Las Tarinas. Did a little research it's actually a pretty popular expat retirement small town so we're gonna check out the beach and a couple restaurants here so it looks nice 360 view See that there? Much smaller than your main city, the capital, Santo Bingo. You can check out that episode. It's one of my favorite countries, and as you can tell, I've been to quite a few cities here, small towns. 
I do like the culture and the food and of course the beach, tropical country. Has the highest mountain peak here in the Caribbean. Hopefully I can check that out one day. There, yeah, this is how it looks. Alright, let's walk a little further down here. Okay, that's your local supermarket there, Super Andy. Still on Carmen Street. And I'm assuming it's rush hour. <laughs> uh, traffic. Say the motorcycle ATV business here is doing pretty well. You can rent a car. Obviously, there is no Uber here. I don't see why you would need one. It's such a small town. Pretty safe to walk around here, but I always recommend walking in pairs or groups, especially at night. There's another gas station there. All right, let's continue on straight ahead. See what else we can find. Okay, so off Carmen Street, this uh, restaurant here called Charles. I had dinner here last night. It was pretty good. See that? Charlie Mariscos. Good food. Pretty reasonable price too. Alright, let's continue on down. Get close to the beach. Nice 360 view here. See that? Your haircut, New York barber, right there. See that? Whole lot of motorcycles, mopeds. And here you can purchase or rent Motello Motors, right there. This is a plaza here. Plaza Kanish is the name. As you can see. Alright, we're gonna continue on down. This is a one-way street. Carmen, and then it kind of loops around into the Horte. See what else we can find. Okay, so this is where the Horte and Carmen intersects. I ate at that restaurant. That's pretty good. Check that out. So as you can see, it's a one-way street, the Horte, and it loops around from the beach back up. Okay. Nice 360 view here. restaurant straight ahead like everyone is riding a motorcycle <laughs> the city is building growing I can tell a lot of construction here There's a peak season, more than likely in the winter time, where everywhere else is cold. But in the summertime, it's the slow season. You get some good deals. I would say the average cost of a meal here, between 10 and $20. Another restaurant I recommend, El Zapat. A 
was the puppy. And there's the construction. I'm assuming a whole lot of apartment rentals in the making. I actually walked this street uh, when I got here yesterday evening. This is a little quick stop passing through. Kept hearing a lot of things, a lot of positive things about this Providence Samana. Decided to come check it out for myself, bring you with me. Again, this is a quick, short video. It's meant to give a little preview of how things look. Or you can check it out. Do your own research. Alright, continue on down, straight ahead. Okay, still here on De Horte Avenue. We're getting close to the beach, I promise. <laughs> so we got two popular banks. Reserve bank there. And popular bank. You want to get some cash? I always recommend bring some cash when you travel. Not too much. A couple hundred bucks to do it. Or you can get some more cash at the uh, banks, ATMs. Charge you a little fee, like most places. Restaurants there. Watch when you cross the street. The streets are pretty narrow here. Dos Gringos Music Bar and Grill. Check that out if you choose. That's one of the original buildings there. Okay, so straight ahead is the beach. Okay, so get this peninsula tours here. Got some whale watching in this area. Waterfall at Limon, I heard it's popular. Waterfall here, you got some rentals for sales, all in the US prices there as you can see. Let's see if there's anything reasonable. That looks reasonable. Oh yeah, you always pay more along the city, along the beach, right? Further inland you pay less. It's a plaza there. Plaza Taina. It rained a lot earlier today, so finally got some fair weather. Another gift shop there. Pick up some souvenirs. And a smoke shop, cigar. Get you some cigars there. a charging station <laughs> surprisingly electric cars are much more quiet so there you have it and this other plaza here plaza el pasio i like to see this electric charging stations around and some more rentals oh that's reasonable 169 Again, I'll leave some links that way you guys can do your own research, but... Ooh, fruits time. Hola! Got some oranges, coconuts, and guinea. Okay, so we made it to the beach. Much quieter there. This completes the noisy journey along these roads. <laughs> All right, 
Libertad and Duarte. Now we're gonna continue on to Horte. Like I told you, it's one big loop. And if you want some really good ice cream, Italians, they make pretty much good everything. <laughs> but it's uh, that one right there. Got across the street here. Real quick. One, two, three, go! Caratella Italiano. Artisanal. So there you have it. Come here and cool off a little bit. Get you some ice cream. I had some last night. It was yummy. And show you how it looks. Check out my Kingston, Jamaica episode. Devon House. And you'll see Italians, they have good everything. Coffee as well. Some pricing there. I'll be back. Alright, let's continue on down this Liberdad. Trying to get some seafood today. To there, Century 21. Alright, so here's the map. As you can see, the Providence or state, but they have Providence. It's Samana right there. Santo Domingo, the capital, is further south so it's northeast right and then zoom out you have the lemon waterfall that's poplar here and this bay is big for well sightings and all along this coast here beautiful beach so this is a park you bring your kids out just relax a little bit as you can see, that's the beach. I was here yesterday, and it did not look like that. <laughs> so, the reason why, especially after heavy rain, you're always going to have the fresh water pushes out into the salt water, right? And because the density between fresh water and salt water, they don't mix. So, compared to yesterday, all this is nice and green and turquoise. Because of the heavy rain, we don't have that. But that's how it looks. As you can tell, the brown sand, that's popular here. A lot of restaurants along the beach. And doggies. So yeah, welcome to Los Terrenas. Samana Providence. Alright, I'm gonna show you all a couple more restaurants and attractions. Grab me some to eat. Wrap up this episode. Like, share, subscribe, and have a jobless day. Okay, so it's another little plaza here. That's a popular ice cream chain. One here in the entire country. Babylon Disco! A lot of cute little plazas here. Yeah, I'm sorry for the noise, but everybody decides to ride a motorcycle here. Beach Garden Plaza. This is the motor 
head motorbike ATV capital of the world. <laughs> From what I'm seeing, Mediterranean Italiana Plaza there. Yeah, that's what you guys are checking out this little architecture. Isn't that cool? Porto Plaza Hotel. Looks like a cruise ship, right? That's different. So yeah, I'm sure you could stay here if you choose. Got a little shops there at the bottom. And I'm sure they have accommodations right there. That's very creative. Alright, I'll show you a couple more spots and call it a day. Okay, so now we're on the beach road. As you can see, the ocean straight ahead. It's a little central plaza here, Casablanca. Como Casablanca. A little bit more quiet on the beach. Yeah, that's a popular bar there on the left. So if you want to enjoy the beach, you have to wait till the rain is all gone. <laughs> Or if you do like the rain, you can come out and still enjoy the beach. Less people, that's for sure. I like to hear the water. Yeah, see that? Continue on down. Miles and miles of beach. Las Terrenas. And you have, as normal, a lot of resorts and hotels alongside the beach there. So if you don't feel like walking on the beach, you can hop on the sidewalk and get some exercise. Pretty much Las Terrenas, guys. Not every episode is going to be sunny, clear skies. <laughs> Had a lot of rain today. This one's decent. I'm passing through, so I just wanted to show this episode here. Oh, yeah, this little sidewalk along the beach goes all the way down. your bars, restaurants, resorts, hotels, and the beautiful beach there. Trust me, you come out here in a clear sunny day with no rain, you're going to see turquoise green clear water there. Okay, I'm gonna grab something to eat. Wrap up this episode. Like, share, subscribe. Till next time. God bless.